Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. We're going to continue our series as a whole. In this video, we're going to show you how to install VMware ESXi 7.03. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video series useful. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so what this video is going to cover, we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install uh, VMware ESXi. Uh, overall, it's a, a pretty simple process, uh, but it does take a little bit of time. Uh, so we're going to do some screen captures and show you uh, literally step-by-step -step everything you need to know. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to create a boot disk using the VMware ISO file that we just downloaded. In order to, to do this, we are going to need a USB thumb drive installed into your computer, and we're going to use a program called Rufus. Uh, you can use something else if you, you know, would like. This is a really common and popular program for creating boot disk. Uh, we'll put up a link of where you can download it because you will need to download it, uh, and it'll be at rufus.ie backslash en backslash. And once you've uh, downloaded it, we're going to go into Rufus and when you do you will see there is a part that says boot selection under the boot selection click the select on the right side this is going to allow you to select the VMware file go in there and click on the VMware ISO file when you hit open it's going to uh, basically put it into it um, make sure all the rest of the settings are fine they should all be good but just double check everything is good hit start now it's going to give you a warning option after you do this uh, that basically any data on your USB is going to be destroyed. Um, you should have put in a blank USB, so hopefully you have a blank USB. Um, click OK, and um, you're good to move forward. If you, you know, don't want the uh, information that's on there destroyed, then make sure to grab a different USB. Uh, so it's going to take a few minutes for this to process, uh, but right now uh, Rufus is actually creating the boot disk from the ISO file that we downloaded. When it's complete, the program uh, when it's complete, you're just going to close your program and your uh, VMware ESXi installation on the USB will be ready to go. Uh, so really, it's a relatively simple process overall. It doesn't take too, too much time here. It's going to take, you know, a minute or two to run this, but it's not like some of the uh, other installs. If you saw our, you know, mass updates video, uh, that takes... I mean, sometimes all night to install the updates for uh, for your R530. So realistically, it's just kind of a waiting game here. And once it's all done, you're just going to go on to the next step, which is going to be to install uh, the VMware onto the server itself. All right, so now we're actually going to install VMware ESXi 7.0.3 onto our R530 server. So we are going to uh, reboot the server, and on the boot up screen, we are going to hit F11, and this will enter the boot manager. Once the uh, boot manager uh, fully initializes and pops up with the options, we are going to go to One Shot BIOS Boot Menu. Once you get into the One Shot BIOS Boot Menu, we're going to actually select select the USB that we created. Once you've selected the USB, it'll take a, a few minutes to initialize. Once it does, it's going to take almost uh, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes to actually load up uh, the VMware ESXi installer. So just know, you know, you need to, to sit back and be a little bit patient here. We're going to actually fast forward through it because it's, you know, just a ton of different time or a ton of time to waste just uh, staring at the screen. Uh, but do know it's going to take, you know, five to 10 minutes here. All right, so after some time, it's going to pop up to a screen that says, Welcome to VMware ESXi 7.0.3 installation. You're going to want to press Enter to continue. That's going to give you the, uh, the next screen where you're going to want to push F11 to accept and continue. Uh, that's just going to be the license agreement. Um, once you've accepted the license agreement, this is going to bring you to the select a disk to install or upgrade screen. Here's where we're actually going to install VMware onto our local hard drive disk. Press enter to continue and enter again to confirm the uh, installation location. All right, once we confirm the disk selection, it's going to come up to a screen that's going to want you to uh, put your keyboard option. We just do um, US default, press enter uh, for your 
for your keyboard option, um, then it's going to ask you to enter a password. Uh, make sure you remember your password because uh, you will need this again. Um, so we're going to put our password in. It does need to be at least seven characters and have um, one special character as well. So we uh, set our password, make sure it matches. Um, once we uh, set the password, the uh, default username is going to uh, default to root, R-O-O-T. You know, all relatively simple. Um, then you're going to confirm the install here and you're just going to hit F11. So now it's in the process of actually installing ESXi. Uh, this is going to take several minutes, so just know it'll take several minutes um, you know, for the whole process to happen. Once it finishes the install, uh, it's going to give you an option to reboot. You're going to hit enter, uh, and it's going to reboot the server automatically. Okay. Um, once the server has powered down, and give it some time to power down because it's still doing some stuff in the background, you're going to remove the USB that we had used to install the ESXi, right? So once the USB is removed um, and the server boots back up, you're now going to um, boot to the newly installed VMware ESXi. And once it's booted, you'll see that there's a message that reads, to manage this host, go to, and it's gonna have your IP address. We will reference this IP address in the next step, so you will need to make sure that you have it. Um, and our IP address, we're gonna black out, but it'll be different than what yours is obvious. So. All right, so the next step is we actually need to uh, set a static IP on the laptop that we're going to use to log in to the VMware ESXi web interface. So in order to do this, we're just going to go to our uh, to our laptop. Uh, you need to get into the control panel. So uh, it could be a little bit different uh, depending on the type of laptop you have, but you know, in essence, just get to your control panel. Uh, go to the network and sharing center. And within the network and sharing center, you're gonna go to change adapter settings. And once you click on change adapter settings, you're gonna right click on the Wi-Fi, make sure it's disabled. Then you're gonna right click on the ethernet and you're gonna go into properties. Um, in the properties section, you're gonna wanna click on the internet protocol version four, uh, TCP IPv4, and you're gonna click on the properties. All right, so after properties, you're uh, going to be able to actually now set the static IP address. So we're going to go in and set it to the same as the server. And we need to uh, make sure that the uh, subnet mask is also done as well. So we're going to set this here too. Um, and really, it's just that simple. Uh, you just come in and you put in the IP address and you put in the subnet mask. And then you're going to go down and click OK. and Click OK again and you've officially saved it to your laptop and uh, now your laptop's ready to be able to log into VMware ESXi uh, via the web interface. All right, we are on to the final step. How do I log into the VMware ESXi web interface on my laptop? So grab the laptop that we had just set the static IP address on. Go to uh, your favorite web browser and you're just going to type in your IP address and this was also in the to manage this host go to and it showed that earlier on. Uh, it might give you a security warning. Um, you're going to have to accept the security warning before that uh, before the web interface is actually going to load. Okay? Uh, then it's going to come to uh, the actual screen here where you can log in. The username that we discussed the default is going to be root and the password is the password that you set earlier in the in the video. So type that in and you can log in and you have uh, successfully uh, logged into the web interface on your laptop. So uh, now that concludes the video and we've installed and logged in to VMware ESXi 7.0.3 on our Dell R530 server. We'll do us a favor, if you're looking to build out an R530 server for your data center or any other Dell, HP, or Supermicro server for that matter, please contact us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. And hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.